from Florida to the Carolinas. Residents are preparing as Hurricane Matthew takes aim at the East Coast. The storm could be the first major hurricane, a Category 3 or higher, to blow ashore in the U.S. since 2005. It's expected to make landfall on Florida Thursday evening as a Category 3. On Wednesday, Florida residents gathered sandbags and boarded businesses. Florida Governor Rick Scott is warning the state could face its biggest evacuation ever. If you live in a low-lying area, on a barrier island, or an area prone to flooding, you need to consider making your plans now to leave. The storm has been blamed for at least 11 deaths in the Caribbean. Dozens of homes were destroyed in the easternmost Cuban city of Baracoa. 35,000 residents were moved inland. Waves carried this shipping container into the middle of this street, three blocks from the water. As the storm turned northward toward the Bahamas, residents stocked up on sand to protect their homes. In South Carolina, essentials quickly disappeared from grocery store shelves. Governor Nikki Haley mobilizing the National Guard as residents in coastal areas are ordered inland. A quarter of a million is what we're looking at in terms of evacuations, and, um, and that does not count tourists. President Barack Obama Matthew was briefed on the situation Wednesday at FEMA headquarters in Washington. We hope for the best, but we want to prepare for the worst. FEMA has deployed personnel to Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas. Matthew is expected to remain a powerful storm at least through Thursday night. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.